Trust me on this. If there is one item that you should pack when traveling on a long haul flight with kids, it is this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trina and I'm that mom who loves to travel. In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to pack for a long haul flight with your kiddos. What I consider to be a long haul flight is probably anything that's longer than five to six hours. I have done several of these flights with two of my kiddos. We have taken long haul flights from Texas to China to Vietnam from Texas to Singapore, from Singapore to Texas. And so I feel like I've kind of gotten this down on exactly what are some of the key items to pack to keep your kiddos happy during those long haul flights. If you don't have kiddos, I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the items that I think that everybody could really use for a long haul flight at the beginning. And then if you have kiddos, keep watching through until the end and I will share with you those items that will keep your kids fully occupied on a long haul flight. All right, let's get started guys. So starting with the electronics, make sure that you have an external battery. And then here's a little secret. Make sure that you bring a charger for your external battery because a lot of the planes that you're flying on actually have a way to charge your items. So once you've already charged your headphones or iPad or whatever device you're charging with this, you can then plug this in to the charger on the plane and then charge it so that it's ready for when you get off the plane. And then for your cell phone, you wanna make sure that you have a way to charge your cell phone. This is actually a case and it's also a battery so it has a battery built in so you can see right there is where it charges so you ch you plug this up you charge this you have your phone charged so once your phone dies you can just you press the button on the back and then it lights up and then it charges your phone I, I love this. The next thing that you're going to want to pack is headphones for your kiddos. So guys, here on my channel, I give you tips and tricks for traveling with kiddos, but I also want you to learn from my failures. I have these cords that we use here in the United States. Well, the problem is some of the international flights, you cannot use this. So here is how you solve that problem. You have got to purchase one of these. And so this is an adapter. So if you're planning on traveling internationally with your kiddos or with your family members, um, you'll wanna make sure that you buy one of these in advance because then you'll just take this plug, you'll plug it in here and it will convert so that you can now plug this into the seat. On most long flights, they are going to have entertainment on the television and they also have games that the kids can play. And my kids love it and it keeps them entertained for hours but in order for them to be entertained they are going to have to have headphones in order to listen to the movies so you're going to want to make sure that you pack this cable cord and then just make sure that the headphones that you take actually have because most of us travel with wireless headphones now so make sure that your headphones have a place that you can actually plug this in so as you can see these are some cheapos that I bought from Target but we never travel with this one because it doesn't have anywhere that I can actually plug in the the jack for the headphones if you're traveling with several kiddos it's always great to have one of these little connectors and so sometimes if they're playing on their iPads they like to watch the same movie so what I do is buy one of these and then you plug in the different headphones into these outlets another thing that I like to travel with is a book light you just press the button and it lights up pretty good because what happens is when you're traveling on a long-haul flight all of the international flights that I've been on there comes a point where they turn off the lights in the cabin and so I have started packing a book light with me and so I just clip this on and then I can read what it also helps too if the kids aren't sleepy yet because they'll have everyone close the blinds and then it's really dark in the cabin so it also helps with the kiddos if they're not sleepy if they're coloring or something you can just clip this on to the side of their um, of their table and then they still have a little bit of light take an iPad this comes in handy if you have Netflix you can download movies onto your iPad before you leave home this really did come in handy when we went to I believe Vietnam it's a wireless printer so this one is a Canon and so what the kids do is they can go onto their tablets and they can actually print stuff from their tablets you get these little film sheets and then they're sticky so it, the picture is sticker and so the boys would like make silly faces and take pictures with my phone or with their tablet so they were just sticking the pictures everywhere so that kept them entertained another thing that we do sometimes is they'll take pictures with some of the the kids that they meet and then they'll print the picture and then they'll give it to the kiddo so I always think that that's precious the first thing that you need are body wipes. So do your neighbors a courtesy and then you just wanna feel clean anyway and so take some body wipes. You also wanna make sure that you take Kleenex. Ladies, make sure that you have feminine products. And then ladies, take some body spray. You just you just wanna freshen up. And so I also take some deodorant, which I don't have pictured in here. And then I have this little case that I put our toothbrushes in here and then chapstick. I have a kiddo, he gets the driest lips and so it's always great if you have chapstick. I like to take a small thing of the micellar cleaning water and then once 
once the flight takes off, I'll put some on a cotton pad and then I'll just wipe my makeup off. And then I also sometimes travel with the Neutrogena wipes. I do have boys that travel with me and these have come in handy because if they are needing to go to the restroom, I mean, come on, you got poop. Or if mommy needs to go and you need to sit on the toilet seat, a lot of the places don't have the actual toilet seat covers in a lot of the countries that we've traveled to. I mean, let's be honest, a lot of the Asian countries that we've traveled to don't even have toilet seats, you gotta squat. But the ones that do, these come in handy. So I bought these on Amazon, it came in a pack of, I don't know, I'll link it below. And then same brand, I bought some cleaning cloths for the kids so I can kind of wipe them down. And then this, <laughs> I mean, I just cannot recommend this enough because when you're on the plane, if everything's flowing through your body the way that it should, you should need to poop on the plane. And so as a courtesy, spray before you poop. I just posted this on one of my videos on what to pack for a cruise. If you haven't seen that, I will link it in this video. You need to go and check that one out. But these are the Sany hand wipes. So this is really what we use. I've also taken the wet ones before, but we've really just moved on to these. These are a little smaller, so if you're needing something bigger, I would say to take the wet one. And then speaking of wipes, I take this big thing of wipes, I take a few out and I put it in a Ziploc bag, and these are the these are hydrogen peroxide cleaner disinfectant wipes. These are supposed to kill the flu, and like, they're just higher, higher potency of getting rid of all of that gross stuff. So I, I always pack some of those. And then when I get on the plane, I wipe down the seats and the armrests and all that stuff, and then the tables. As far as the table goes, I also showed this in my other video, but I love these. So these are just the little tablecloths. They stick onto the tables. And so what I do is I just, once I clean the table, I take this and then I fold it over that table on the plane and you just, it has a sticky tab right here. So you just peel this tab and then you can stick that on the table. And then that way the kids are just, everything that they're touching is touching this instead. And I will tell you that every single long flight that I've taken with my kids, and I mean every single one, I'm probably jinxing myself. The flight attendants, as we are getting off of the flight, have said, you have the most well-behaved kids I've ever seen on a flight that age. It's not because of my parenting, let's be real. I think it's just because I've gotten a system with them on traveling with me and like what to pack and items to keep them busy and getting them wore out and all that stuff, which is going to be on my other video of the tips and tricks when traveling on a long haul flight. One of the things you wanna make sure that you pack is your children's Tylenol. And if you're not wanting to take the liquid, so I normally don't really travel with the liquid on the plane. They have these junior strength chewables. But when I'm traveling, I like to take these tablets and then Pepto-Bismol for the kids, because let's be real, is there anything worse than having a tummy ache up in the air? Also pack the same thing for myself. Um, also some cough drops. I can't recommend packing cough drops enough because there are many times when I'm on the plane and I would like to offer some people on the plane a cough drop because they'll just start coughing and it's like going on and on the whole flight. So pack you some cough drops. Your neighbors might even be thankful that you did. Sometimes the aroma of the food is not pleasant for my children. Pack a little thing of some type of essential oil and then just dab it on their nose so that all they're smelling is the beautiful scent of the lavender or the peppermint. And then nasal spray. It's always great. You know, that air, I'm telling you, it's the quality of the air. It's just like circulating old air. And I have a kid with asthma, and so this really comes in handy. And then I have one who has crazy allergies. And then also, which I don't have, pack your inhaler for your kiddos. You are not going to want to keep slipping on and off your shoes. And so what I've done is I've bought swim shoes. And so I just pack these and they lay so flat that it doesn't take up any room. And then I purchased some for the kiddos off of Amazon. And then once we are all settled, I put these in the back of all of our seats. And then when they need to get up and go to the restroom, we just pull them out. I purchased these socks. So they look like little ballerina socks. And so I packed these for myself and I will say that I love them. The shoes that I just showed you guys, I don't wanna kinda wear those all the time. So what I did is I would put these on and I would just have my feet, you know, in my seat and all of that stuff. And so these really worked out great. Whenever we are traveling on a flight, my kids get lots and lots of snacks. And so we're going to do the food next. So what I do is I take a carabiner hook and I hook this up to the seat. And then this becomes our trash bag. And then when the flight attendants came, they could take it. And then another thing that I've used is, you know, the little poop bags, but this works out great too, just for traveling in general, because you never know when you're gonna need a, a baggie, right? So I just like to take these. I know, you probably didn't think of this. And then you could actually use this bag Bag for trash, swimming, it's good for covering up your shoes. And you get a whole roll that fits in this little bitty compartment. You are gonna want to make sure that you are packing snacks for the kids. They are on a flight for hours. And let's be honest, some of that food, I didn't wanna eat. So some of the things that I would say to pack would be like popcorn, muffins, apples, chips, yogurt, and then PBJs work great. Here's a little thing. When you are on the international flights, they always have snacks in the back. And then you'll wanna pack some suckers or something for your kids to suck on when they're flying. That kinda helps whenever. Right 
Huh? Somebody put that right there. That's okay. But just something for them to suck on. It helps with their ears, you know, popping whenever they're on the flight. After being on two flights when my kids spilled their drinks, no matter what you're thinking, make sure you pack extra clothes for your kids because what's going to happen is your kid is going to spill something and then they're going to be in wet clothes and you're not going to have anything to put your kids in. That did not happen to me. It happened to another mother I was on the plane with and so I felt her pain. So just make sure that you pack yourself and your kids additional clothes. Most of the times it was them spilling their drink. So you know they give you the cups that are about this big and they're about this round. It's like a real wide brim. So the kiddos will take a drink of that and then they'll sit it there and then they'll start playing or doing whatever it is that they're doing and then it accidentally gets spilled. So what I've started doing is I just pack their own little water containers. When the flight attendant comes around, just ask them can they fill this up with whatever your kiddo's drinking. I also like to pack a drink mix. I purchased these off of Amazon and oh my goodness, you like, it's it's actually a lime. Well, it's not a lime because it's obviously not a lime. I mean, it says true lime. It says made from real limes. That's why I thought that. So you put this in your drink, it gives it the lime flavor. It's like you squeeze fresh lime into your drink. So of course, of course you are going to want to travel with a neck pillow. So if there is one item that I would say is a must have non-negotiable for a long haul flight with kids, this next item is it. Hands down, if you buy one item and you're traveling with kids, buy this. They come in a bag like this. You air this up and it, and it goes like this. This isn't fully inflated. And then it fits in between the seat where your feet would go and the seat in front of you. And so you just push this back down. And so it's basically made in the size that it would fit behind a seat. So what I do, this is one of my tips I'm gonna share with you guys in my other video. What I do is I always take the aisle seat, put the kiddos on the inside. That way the kids have their own space. It's like their own little fort. That they can play with and so I buy I have three of them and so I put one under each seat I cover it with the blanket so that it kind of creates a table so that they can play with all the stuff that I'm about to show you but one of them sleeps on on the footrest the other person sleeps on the now the, the now empty two chairs and then I kind of just lay over and sleep you know kind of cuddled up with that kid and guys it has worked on every single flight if there is one item that you should purchase it is this. And then of course, I don't know guys, listen, I, I believe that I am premenopausal. But my doctor told me you're too young. No, listen, I have hot flashes like the Dickens. That is so Southern of me, isn't it? Hot flashes are so bad that like all of those three little knobs that you can use on the airplane, those do nothing for me. You do not want to be hot on a plane on a long flight. So get you a fan. This came from Amazon. I'll link it below. And then I bought these blankets for the kiddos now. I like it because this one has the little handle that you can slide onto their luggage. This is the part that I'm really, really excited is to share with you what to pack to keep those kiddos entertained on a long haul flight. We love to take Legos. These are just the Lego plates. And so I like these because they're so thin and so it packs easier, it takes up less space. They put it on the tray and they can play with this and build stuff on this for hours. Another one of Bashi's favorite things, but I'm really excited about this one because it's like genius. This is like Lego tape and it peels so the backing peels off. And they can like tape this. They had this tape like from the window to the back of the seat and then they can actually connect the Legos on it. Look, we're just trying to keep the kids busy. This works like a gym. I highly, highly recommend this, especially if your kids are into Legos. This is really cool. Another thing that I like to pack is pipe cleaners. They don't take up a lot of space. It's really, the kids can play with these for hours. Sometimes I'll, we'll play a game where I'll draw a picture on a piece of paper and then they'll try to make this, make the picture out of the pipe cleaner. You know, you just get really creative. I don't know why kids are obsessed with post-it notes, but post-it notes work like a gym. Kids would like write on them. They'd stick them on their heads. Like, I don't know. I don't know why kids are obsessed with post-it notes. And then of course, Uno cards. And then highlighters work great for kids on the plane. I also like to take a dry erase board. This is great if you're playing tic-tac-toe and then sometimes the kids just like to draw. You can play hangman on here. We do Pictionary. And then I took some of these little workbooks. I got these from the dollar spot at Target. I pack each of them a coloring book so they tend to color on the plane. If you've got younger kiddos, don't buy the regular crayons because what will happen is your kids will take those out and then they'll just roll. So what I like to buy are these. They're triangular crayons. These work great. With these, they're actually triangular in shape so they are priceless. Guys, this is such a good thing. So they don't roll off and you're like looking for crayons. What we travel with now is this. So we actually use this for homeschooling. This is perfect to travel with. So I put one of these in both kiddos bag. This actually folds down. So it literally just folds down onto itself. So then it sits like right there on the tray. And so then the kiddos, so as you can see, there's colors in there. So then the kids can just like dig in here and pick out which color they want. But you could also just get this on Amazon, I'll link it below, and then put their triangular crayons too. My husband despises Play-Doh. 
Me as the mama, I love Play-Doh. I do believe in packing Play-Doh for long flights. The key is just don't let your kids tear it up into small pieces. But what I also did is I purchased this tray and then the kids were only allowed to play with their Play-Doh on this tray. So my kids are old enough that I can tell them only play with the Play-Doh on the tray and they will only play with the Play-Doh on the tray. So you just need to know your children. Like are they going to make a huge mess where it's an inconvenience to the flight attendants? If not, y'all, kids can play with Play-Doh for hours. And then we were traveling around Halloween time so I always go and I grab these stickers. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby or maybe Amazon guys, I don't know. But I take the stickers and then the kids, they love to just take the stickers. I always travel with a spiral notebook. Each kid gets their own notebook and then we take the stickers and they just put stickers all over the notebook. And then this they can also use for drawing and then ripping the paper out and then making paper airplanes. One of my kiddos is old enough now to do word searches so I, I bought this and so he can use the highlighter and kind of highlight some of the words to actually do a word search. Then our last flight I did pack glue sticks. Kids love to glue stuff and so they could like cut out some of the paper color it makes stuff and then they would glue it to the paper. Guys, mamas you get creative. Know what your kids like. I have a kid who loves glue sticks so I just knew to pack glue sticks. And then index cards. I know you're like why would you pack index cards? The same reason kids it's like sticky notes. I don't know. I don't know why kids like index cards, but they do. So pack blank index cards and then the kids can draw. They make flashcards out of stuff. They made superhero flashcards. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They're just boys and they like it. And so I pack it and it worked. I am only showing you guys stuff that has worked and kept my kids entertained. Another find that I got from the Target dollar bin spot, I got these blank books. They're just blank books and so the kids can make their own story. So you open it up and they're just blank pages that are a book. Your kids make all the stories that they want and it comes in a count of eight and they were three dollars for eight bucks. This right here was a really good deal. Okay guys, I think that is all of the items that I have to share with you. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Also, if you have any tips or tricks or things that you pack on a long haul flight, I would love if you would share some of your ideas of your favorite things to pack with your kids on a long haul flight. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the next video.